Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. As you can tell from the title down below, I'm going to tell you my top 10 favourite Robin Williams films. If you're new to my channel, then fist bump that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Um, so yeah, it was about fucking three years and one day that the late and great Robin Williams passed away. So I figure I might as well do this video today because it's like a three year one day anniversary of his passing. Let's get on with it. So if you watch my top 10 videos, then you should know hopefully by now that I start with number 10 and make my way down to number one. So number 10 is Toys, which was in 1992. There's not much I can say about this film. I think like, the first time I saw this film was like back last year. Yeah, so basically it's about a brother and sister's father owning a toy company and then he passes away and they inherit it and all fucking shit kicks off. So that's number 10 and that's Toys. So this is number nine. And that is 1980 film Popeye. I saw this film, well, the first time I saw this film was about probably when I was about five or six. I liked it the first time I saw it, but then when I saw it like back last year or this year, it sort of kind of bored me a bit because I've like already seen it. But yeah, it's a good film. Yeah, so that's number nine and that is Popeye. So this is number eight and that is The Angriest Man in Brooklyn which was made in 2014. There's not much I can say about this because I've only watched it once and it was like late at night that I watched it. But I know that Robin Williams is obviously in it. Fucking obviously. Mila Kunis is in it. From what I can remember of it, he's a person I, the, I, t -t -t today, Junior. He's dying. He ends up getting div a divorce from his wife. You're just going to have to go and watch the film because there's not much I can actually say on this that I can actually remember. But yeah, that is number eight, and that is The Angriest Man in Brooklyn. So this is number seven. This is going back to the first time I watched it, which was like in high school or fucking primary school, because we had like sort of something in English to do with it. And that is Dead Poets Society, which was made in 1989. Like I said for the last one, there's not much I can say about this one. It's basically about an English teacher that teaches kids about poetry. Good film, from what I can actually remember of it, because it's been so fucking long since I've actually seen it. So that is number seven, and that is Dead Poets Society. So this is number six, and it is by Tentacle Man. So uh, I can't remember the first time I saw this film. This was like back fucking years ago. It's like one of those films that you watch with your family on like a Sunday night. Then I watched it like back last year, I believe it was. And it brought back a load of fucking memories because it's like one of those films that you can re remember what, uh, watching when you were a kid. But when you grow up, you like forget the name of the fucking film. And then you f try and fucking look up like, oh, Robin Williams Robot Man <laughs> or fucking something on YouTube. If you haven't seen By Tentacle Man then go and see it. It's a good film. This is number five and it's from the two thousand well it's the two thousand and six film RV. I saw this film two years ago I believe. I actually thought this was a really good film. It's sort of a serious thing and there's also a load of comedy in it as well. Yeah, it's basically about a man who works for a company and wants to spend time with his family but also has like meetings and stuff that he's got to do for his company so he ends up going on holiday renting an rv and all fucking shit breaks loose so that is number five and that is rv this is number four and that is the 1997 film flubber this is a fucking good film if you haven't seen it then I recommend you go and see it because it generally is a really good fucking film it's one of his comedy sides of film shit which is earlier shit is usually comedy. Yeah, there's one particular scene in there that I actually really fucking like because every time I watch it, I always laugh at it. And that is when he's in like the gymnasium place. He ends up putting fucking the flubber spray fucking shit on his shoes and he ends up fucking bouncing and he ends up fucking flying back into the chest and then he says, it works. I don't know why uh, why I always fucking laugh at it. I'm laughing now just fucking thinking about it. And that is number four and that is Flubber. Number three. This is the 1991 film Hook. So for all of you that may know, Steven Spielberg is my favourite director. So obviously Hook is going to be on here somewhere. These are like one of the sort of films growing up that I used to like reenact for fucking some reason. Like what? kids usually do with like Power Rangers. So yeah, Hook is like one of those films that 
is a classic and I don't know what it is but like a number of classic films Steven Spielberg has got something to do with it E.T. Back to the Future Indiana Jones Gremlins Jurassic Park The Goonies right, they're all fucking classic films so that is number three and that is Hook number two they're making a remake of this this year which comes out in December and this came out in 1995 and that is Jumanji my favorite character in Jumanji I wouldn't say is actually Robin Williams but it's that hunter fucking guy but if you haven't seen Jumanji then I don't know where you've been for the last like 21 years 21 22 years um so yeah that is number two and that is jumanji so number one you can kind of sort of tell which one would be number one considering that it's probably one of his most popular fucking films and that come out in 1993 and that is mrs doubtfire the first time i saw this film i can't fucking remember because it was so long ago everyone in my family loves this book I wouldn't say everyone loves. My brother likes this film. My mother loves this film. Ed, I don't know. Because all he goes on about these days is fucking Mrs. Brown's boys. Which, yes, Ed is really fucking annoying. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't seen Mrs. Doubtfire, then go fucking watch it. Uh, there was rumours about fucking second one coming out. But like Robin Williams kept on saying, it pretty much wasn't fucking possible to make a second one because in the first one he already revealed his identity as being the father and yeah it just kind of wouldn't work yeah that is number one and that is mr doubtfire so guys i hope you enjoyed my list i apologize it's a bit long i really wasn't expecting it to be this long but yeah if you like this video then drop it a thumbs up comment down below what your top favorite robin williams film is Share it to your family and friends and you ever think will want to watch this video. And don't forget to share the support and fist bump the hell out of that subscribe button. And I'll see you in Reaction Tuesday's video. Bye!